For thousands of people across the area, the holiday weekend was spent cleaning up debris after storms. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I am Bria Berry in for Chris Katz tonight. The storms brought down trees and power lines. Some people are still without power tonight. We visited one neighborhood in Independence where some people have been without power for 72 hours. Many people had to throw out all their refrigerated food. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson is live right now with how some people are coping tonight, Brian. Yeah, Bria, Lara, well, it has been a struggle. Imagine no internet, no TV, no AC for that long. Out of habit, the people we've been talking to keep going to the light switches to turn them on and are surprised each time when nothing happens. See, the trees were twisting around in the wind and blowing as it probably as hard as I've ever seen them. Jack Jensen says the Country Meadows neighborhood rarely loses power. The lines are buried. Even ice storms or anything else, we've not experienced anything like that. Jensen has no power. He passes the time picking up mite balls from his ash tree. This is the worst outage they've had in 30 years. It was a big shock because every hour we think it's coming back and it's still not back <laughs> and nobody's given us an update. Monday, more than 800 families in the neighborhood didn't have power. Jensen says they've thrown out their food and emptied their fridge. Just uh, trying to figure out where you're, you're going to go eat next because you don't have any electricity to cook with. I saw the wind just whipping all the trees and everything in, in the back. Joe Beth Herrick lives around the block near Lee Summit Road and East 52nd Street. The winds snapped this tree at the trunk. It fell on top of her house. After I came out and looked at it, I'm like, okay, I definitely need a professional. Thankfully, Monday afternoon, Independence Power and Light fixed the issue. The power is back. I was very, very happy about that. Yeah, the power is back on so we can start to get back at everything we've been doing. Life can get back to normal. In Independence, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. And at this hour, there are still about 30 outages around Independence. Evergy hopes to have everyone's power restored by tomorrow night. Here's a look at the utilities live outage map. More than 5,000 customers are still without power in our area. Now, at one point, that number was well over 100,000. Evergy brought in nearly 900 extra workers from across the region to help. Some traveled from as far away as Wisconsin. Officials say they have a formula when it comes to fixing broken power lines. It starts with the big streets where the main lines are located. We have to get those uh, back up and energized before we can start to branch off into the, into the neighborhoods. You know? So it, we work from the largest to smallest. Now keep in mind that you know, some of those small, smallest ones might be a single customer at the very end. You know, that's, uh, those, are, those are tough decisions that we make every day. A reminder, you can report an outage on Evergy's website or mobile app. You can also call.